Let me begin this video with an inspiring true life story about Mupunda, a Tanzanian who came up with an idea of selling clean water that was very scarce in Tanzania. However, his financial conditions did not allow him to finance his business or avail any sort of banking services. Now, you might be thinking that he must have given up on his dreams. However, this wasn't meant to be the case. Enter microfinance loans from Akiba Commercial Bank, which provides him with half a million Tanzanian shillings, that is 360 US dollars, which he uses to pay municipal fees and start his business. What happened next? His business started to do well and his profit shot up nearly six times. And today he lives a very respectable life. They say, it's the little things that power big things. Now, this is the power of microfinance loans. And in today's video, we'll discuss all about microfinance loans, how it works, pros and cons, and much, much more. Hi all, my name is Dheeraj Vaidya from wallstreetmojo.com, the home for most authentic place to learn finance and accounting. Let's get started. Okay guys, let's first get the basics right by understanding what actually are microfinance loans. So typically a microfinance loan is a small capital provided to individuals or groups, you know, who have very low or moderate earnings and who would generally struggle to take benefits of any financial services. Such loans are kind of provided by banks, non-banking financial companies, fintech companies, NGOs, cooperatives, etc. The main aim here is to extend financial help through a working capital to individuals who want to become actually self-reliant by starting a small business or startup, but they are not able to do so because they are not financially privileged. However, the best part here is that these services are now offered globally. Now, although microfinance loans are offered globally, most of its beneficiaries generally come from underdeveloped or the developing countries. You know, think of Bolivia, Cambodia, African countries, Bangladesh, where most individuals cannot afford enough capital or the amount that is necessary to start the business. Now, one key thing that you should note here is that these microfinance loans are not big loans and generally range from a small amount of $100 to maybe $25,000. So these amounts might sound very little to some of us but can be a game changer when it comes to helping individuals in breaking their poverty shackles and enabling them to kickstart their business dreams. The process to take a microfinance loan is generally very simple. But before I walk you through the steps, I'd like to point out that the eligibility criteria for these loans are based on more human criteria rather than you know, solely based on salaries and assets. So here are the steps. The first is the loan application, where a borrower applies for a loan by filling a general loan application form. Next comes the loan evaluation, right? Where the loan officer makes some important checks on the borrowers, his wealth, his needs, his past credits, before he sends to the loan for approval by the branch or maybe the business manager. Now, once the loan is approved by the manager, it is usually disbursed within 48 hours. And finally, the loan officer visits the borrowers at regular intervals, which can be weekly or monthly to ensure that timely payments are done. So what about the guarantee requirements for such loans? So in most cases, the required guarantee is replaced by a group solidarity mechanism. What does this mean? So in the case of cooperatives, for example, each borrower serves as a guarantor for the other members and that's why these are called as self-help groups. Now, a key difference between a microfinance loan and any other general loan is that these microfinance institutions here leave no stones unturned to make sure that the borrowers or the entrepreneurs actually succeed in their venture. For this, they impart basic money management classes to individuals that help them in understanding what are interest rates, you know, cash flows, how to manage debt, 
how, what is budget, etc. Now, one key thing to note here is that because the loans mostly target women and provide proper money management trainings to borrowers, these microfinance institutions have an impressive repayment rates that touch close to 98%. Now, that's quite amazing. However, not everything is as smooth as it looks like from outside. And like conventional loans, lenders charge interest rates which can sometimes range from 20% to 50%. Some may even have some specific loan repayment plans like for example, the borrower may have to keep a part of their income in savings account. Now, this may serve as a safety net in case the borrower fails to repay the loan. Again, in some cases where the borrowers cannot repay the loan, the lenders create a pool of borrowers where the recipients you know, repay the loans together. Although these microfinance loans come with certain terms and conditions that we just looked at, their benefits totally outweigh their limitations. The main advantage is that they enable individuals who generally can't gain access to the banks to become successful entrepreneurs, who in turn will ultimately create jobs, trade and help in the overall development of a community. The other significant benefit that the loans provide is that these loans primarily target women because of their better repayment rates and it helps them break the cycles of poverty and stand as a financially independent individual who can then help in an overall reduction of poverty. However, critics do have their say on this and they feel that these loans are just another way for financial institutions to make money from the poor. Some also feel that these microfinance loans are not enough to provide financial independence to individuals. And finally, some critics also feel that no matter how low the interest rates are, they're still a burden for the financially underprivileged. Now, let us look at a common question that generally gets asked about microfinance loans. And that is, do microfinance loans actually work? Now, the answer to the question is yes, but only if it is mixed with proper training, education and support from the borrowers. And you must also realize the fact that it is not a quick fix, but rather a long term financial support to low income individuals, which help them on the path of self reliance and prosperity. I hope you found this video to be useful. Please do like and share. And if you have any feedback or want to suggest a topic for any future videos, then you may do so by writing about it in the comments section. Also, you know, we come up with very interesting videos on finance and accounting topics regularly. So if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then you may do so by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you can get the notification as soon as we release the new video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.